Ezekiel 38.7 Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself thou all thy company that are assembled unto thee and be thy thou a guard unto them. It's prepper time. Um, gosh, I don't know what I was really going to say in this video. Um, talking about preparing for end time. Ezekiel 38 7, Bible even says to prepare. Prepare for thy company, the, the company that you're in charge of, your family, could be your neighborhood, you know. Don't be a burden, be a, an asset. Learn to protect yourself and others. That's shooting around a vehicle, a, a, a truck, a car, gosh, even a motorcycle. Be prepared to protect yourself and your company, your family. Heck, it's scripturally supported, guys. You can show the, the wife. The Bible says, <laughs> go out, get a gun, and be prepared. Um, I don't teach doom and gloom scenarios. Could be just a trucker strike, a couple weeks, a couple months, a couple years, EMP, solar flare. You lose electricity, you're on foot. What are you going to carry with you? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking a rifle and a pistol of equal caliber. Um, so you can carry all 22 ammo or all 9 mil ammo. Um, um, if you have to get out, you're in a vehicle, that's good. A couple extra guns, medical supply. Um, but you got to ditch the truck. Of course, EMP, you're talking 90, 1995 or before, where the electronics aren't destroyed. And you can, you know, you get to an intersection, they're going to potentially hijack that truck. Um, if you see it coming, you get out with your weaponry. Um, practice shooting out of the truck, and I got that coming here pretty soon. But, but it doesn't matter what you're in. Armored vehicle, uh, golf cart, it doesn't matter. The Bible says to be prepared. Um, uh, you know, and you Christians thinking, oh, it's in God's hands. He's going to take care of us. I had a girl say that, a woman said that to me the other day, you know, okay, and she had mentioned your kids are in college. And I'm like, okay, well, why, why do you got kid in college? God's going to take care of you, you know. There has to be a degree of prepping. You don't need to scare people. You don't need to be all freaky about it. Um, I think I know a Southern prepper, nothing fancy, said that uh, it's a lifestyle. It's not a hobby. Maybe Southern Prepper said it was a, a hobby. Um, I can see that. I can see it being a hobby, and I think it is a lifestyle. Um, just being smart about how you live, where you go. Um, be aware of your surroundings. Um, if you don't know how to shoot a gun, get the training. Learn to shoot a gun. Uh, um, paper targets don't shoot back. You're normally not hiding behind something. Um, practice shooting behind walls. Um, nothing fancy. He's got a real good setup where he, he's got, it's just simply a four by eight sheet of plywood with some holes cut in it. But that gives you the realization of hiding behind something. Okay, cover and concealment. Uh, co um, uh, two different things. We have to have a class on that. You know, a bush isn't going to protect you. It's going to, it's going to hide you, but it's not going to protect you against incoming bullets. So trees, vehicles and some other um, <laughs> a fuel tank being the hot idea but we're kind of limited on a, a bike that's got a lot of plastic but Ezekiel 38 7 be prepared um, thanks for watching um, constructive comments are always welcome and I, I, I hope you have a blessed day y'all take care of your family